Good day, KW Agents. My name is Mark, and I'm here to show you the process on how to start your buyer transaction in command, how to send out forms and documents for signatures through DocuSign, and how to submit your signed documents to your market center for review once your file goes under contract. To start the transaction process, we need to make sure your client's information is in your command database. Let's say this is a new client and we are going to add the client for the first time. So let's begin by logging into your command and enter your username and password. Now we go to contacts by clicking the contacts icon on the left sidebar. Click add contact at the top of the page and enter any information you wish into the form. Buyer's address can be entered by going to the Add More Information section. Then we will click Create when finished. Now let's say we have two buyers, Hasban and a wife. So we will add another contact. Then click on Add Relationship. Select the relationship from the drop-down menu, then let's select spouse, and then select the contact you want to add. Then at the bottom, click on create. Once you have your clients in your database, we are now ready to create an opportunity. There are two ways to create an opportunity. One way is from the contacts view, click the opportunity tab on the top, then click on create opportunity button. Another way is to click the Opportunities icon on the left sidebar and click Create Opportunity at the top right of the page. Then we will complete the Create Opportunity form. So let's change the Opportunity type to Buyer, then enter the client's name on the Client field. Then we will add the Co-Buyer. Now you'll notice the spouse automatically appeared because we added the relationship. We will also enter the commission rate. One thing to keep in mind, this field is not the official commission amount. When the transaction progresses, you will submit a commission request to your market center, which will eventually be approved as the official commission amount. Now lastly is to make sure the correct buyer's agent is selected. For this one, I will choose Roshana as the buyer's agent. Then click create when ready. Now that we have the buyer opportunity, we can then start the transaction to create the room in DocuSign. Each DocuSign room must be created from within an opportunity in command, so you have to secure your command and DocuSign connection. If you have connected your DocuSign account in command, you can go ahead and start the transaction. Once you have the opportunity open, we'll click on Documents at the top of the page. And at the top right of the Documents page, click Start a Transaction. Select DocuSign, then confirm the name of the buyer's agent. Once you click on Confirm, it will open a new window that directs us to a new created room in DocuSign. DocuSign will automatically pull the information from the opportunity you created from command. Notice the room name, and if we go to the Details tab, the buyer information and the buyer's agent information are synced from the command opportunity data. We can now send documents to our buyer for signature. To do that, we will go to envelopes. Envelopes are what we use to send, sign, and complete forms in DocuSign. Envelopes contain important information about the recipient, documents, document fields, and timestamps to track the delivery progress. Now let's create a new envelope. You will then be directed to a page where you will fill out fields of information for the envelope. Let's start by entering the envelope name. I will be sending contract of sale and compliance documents to my buyers, so I will name my envelope like that. Then let's enter your email subject and email message in the corresponding fields. Next step, 
is we will add documents to the envelope. If you want to manually add your documents, you can do so by clicking More, then click Upload. A new window will pop up asking you to select which documents you want to add. If you have a template, click Use a Template. Here you can see the list of your personal templates. Or, on the left side of the page, click Shared with Me. This will allow you to access the templates that your Market Center has created for you. I already have a template, so I am going back to my template page and select Contract of Sale and Buyer's Compliance. Once we're done adding the documents, we need to add recipients. For each of the recipients, click the Add Recipient drop-down and select one of the options. Use the Room Participants option to add anyone who has been invited to the room. You can also choose the Email Address option to add anyone to the envelope by including their name and email address. If you selected the template, you will want to use the Pre-Tag Role option. The forms will include DocuSign fields that are unique to a specific signer. For each person you added to the envelope, click the drop-down to specify if the recipient needs to sign, view, or receive a copy of the envelope. You can also arrange the order by which the recipient will receive the envelope. If you want them to receive the envelope all at the same time, make sure all numbers are 1. Once this is done, click Next in the top right-hand corner. You will now see the documents you added to the envelope. Since we choose a template, all the labeled fields are there. The last step you will take is to make any final edits to these documents. This is the benefit of using a template in the envelope because it will make your life easier. You just fill in the information and you're ready to go. I'll show you what it looks like if you manually add or upload your documents in the envelope. You will have to add the fields yourself. Let me show you how to do that. On the left side, you can add the following standard fields to your documents like signature, initial, date signed, name, email, text, checkbox, and other fields. One thing to keep in mind is that the recipient fields are color-coded so that you can easily identify which fields belong to which recipients. So here we have Sean, Olga, and Roshana. Since Roshana is the buyer's agent, I will put her as the default recipient. Let's start by adding a checkbox. Just drag and drop, then double-click if you want it to be checked. Now let's try Signature. Again, drag and drop. You can easily adjust the size of your field by dragging any of the sizing handles at the corners of the field. Then let's put Date Signed here. This field is automatically filled in with the current date your recipient signed the document. When you add fields to a document, you can define field properties such as font styling and font size. You can also copy and paste the fields you created simply by clicking the fields you want to copy. Then press Ctrl Copy and Ctrl Paste on your keyboard. Position the fields you've pasted. This one, we will assign it to Sean as the first buyer. Copy the fields again, then this time assign it to Olga as the second buyer. Then let's add the name field here. Again, we can adjust the size of your field. This field will automatically populate with the recipient's name. Once you are ready, click Send at the top right of the page. Once all the recipients sign and the envelope status turns completed, all the signed documents will be located inside the Documents tab. You can create Documents folders so you can quickly sort, find, and manage your transaction documents. Click Actions, Add Folder, and in the folder name field, type a descriptive name of the new folder. Then click Create. Add the documents to a room initially places it in the Room Docs folder. You can leave your documents there or move them to different folders to organize them. 
use drag and drop when moving documents between folders in the same room. Or you can select all documents in a room folder to take action on all of them at once. After you selected all the documents you wish to move, click on the move icon at the top of the page. On the select a destination drop down, select folder in current room, and then select the folder name that you wish to move the documents to, then click the move button. In DocuSign rooms, you can also combine two or more PDFs into one or split one PDF into multiple documents. If you wish to combine PDFs, select the circles in the top left corner of the documents you wish to combine and click Combine icon. You will be prompted to name the newly combined document and you can arrange the documents in the order you like them to appear. Back in the Documents tab, you will find the original files and the newly combined PDFs under its new name. You can also archive documents in your DocuSign room. Archiving lets you clean up your Documents tab so that when you're viewing active documents, you see only the documents that you really need. Select the documents by clicking the circle in the upper left corner of the document, then click the Archive icon. Once your buyers go under contract, you will need to submit all of the required documents to your MCA or compliance coordinator who will approve or reject your completed forms. For this, we will go back to Command Opportunity, then go to Documents tab at the top of the page. On the left side of the page, use the Checklist Type drop-down to select the type of checklist you will be adding documents for. For this one, I will click Residential. Choose the compliance event where the documents will be added. We will select under contract. You will now see the required documents that need to be uploaded for it to be compliant. You can now start attaching your files. After you uploaded all the required documents in the compliance event, click submit to MC button. Once you submit the documents to your market center, they will either approve or reject each submitted document. If approved, then you will see the approved status next to the document name. And if it's rejected, then you will have to make changes and resubmit. And this is the process of creating a buyer transaction in command.